Hunters, welcome back to my channel. There are a couple stunning new developments in the Ryan Edwards and Mackenzie Stanmer um, domestic violence slash divorce situation that I wanted to hop online and discuss with you, okay? So this is coming from thesun.com. They managed to get their hands on some of the legal papers that have been filed in the court by Mackenzie's legal team. Remember, Mackenzie was granted temporary custody of the children that she and Ryan share two weeks ago, but it seems as though up until recently, Ryan was still able to visit with the kids just so long as it wasn't anywhere near Mackenzie and so long as he did not contact her directly. So I imagine that she was collaborating with his parents to exchange the kids with them to another location where Ryan would be able to hang out with them and then give them back to his parents, who would then transfer the kids back to Mackenzie, right? But now, according to the new documents that the son has found, Ryan is allegedly banned from visiting those children until further notice. I think this comes hot on the heels of the latest kind of drama with him, right? He did plead guilty to harassing Mackenzie. Then uh, he did also get sentenced to, to, to rehab yet again and whatnot. And so I think the judge, with all the evidence that Mackenzie had about him and his disturbing behavior, they felt like it was not safe. Remember, Mackenzie argued that Ryan would do some of these shocking things, like with the knife in front of the kids, allegedly, and whatnot, and the, the, the breaking the bed and stuff, and just really shocking and scaring those poor children. So I think that this is in her best interest and in their best interest if all that she is alleging is indeed true. So Mind you, do you guys remember a couple of weeks ago, Ryan did go on a rant, a pretty incoherent rant, where he accused Mackenzie of being lazy and a terrible mother and an S-H-I-T because those poor kids would cry whenever they'd have to leave him and whatnot. And that was all her fault. So I think that that is proof that up until recently, Ryan was able to spend time with those children. Um, now, Mackenzie, uh, on the flip side, is also seeking for child support for their kids. They're still very young. Young. They're three and four years old, Jagger and Stella. And she's also looking for spousal support for herself, which I say, you go, girl. Listen, you suffered so long for that man. So I really don't see why not. Like, go for broke. If I were her, I would want literally everything, not half everything. Not that there's much to get right with Ryan, but still it's the principle of the thing, you know, when you do the things that he has done. Now, um, not only that, though, Mackenzie is also also requesting that Ryan Edwards pay the cost of damages made to their marital home that um, he allegedly inflicted himself. In the police report, they claim that the house was in a shocking state with holes all over the wall and other um, signs of alleged V-I-O-L-E-N-C-E. -E. Mackenzie did allege that he had broken the bed by getting on top of her and just pretending like he was going to attack her and whatnot. So I say good for her for asking for all of that to be paid for. But here's the thing. They don't own that home. That is Ryan's parents' home. So even if he tries to stiffer on that by not paying for the repairs, it's like, well, Ryan, you're screwing over your parents at the end of the day because they were kind enough to let you guys live there, raise your children there. So I, I do hope that he makes good on that and forks over the money to repair that home. Congratulations to Mackenzie. Her legal team is absolutely on fire here. As of right now, Ryan has still not yet responded to her divorce petition even. This is interesting to me because he did go online. He was the first one to throw the D word out there, right? I'm going to divorce you come Monday morning. And that was well over a month ago at this point. And he still has not shown up to divorce court. So I am looking forward to seeing how the rest of that continues to pan out. I'm also curious about how long he will be banned from spending time with those kids for. I wonder if that's something that he's going to be fighting in uh, in the in the legal system. Is that finally going to wake him up to get over there and start filing his own things? Or will his parents be the one who have to push him? I personally think that Ryan is an Instagram dad. This is just my opinion, right? Like he he wants to portray the image of himself being really involved and whatnot, but we've watched him on Team Emoji like since the beginning, right? Like he's just very detached and nonchalant. And this is probably a wonderful break for him, a wonderful vacation. And then he gets to blame it all on Mackenzie for keeping him away 
from those from those kids that he so desperately wants to see that he was so active in their lives and whatnot for right like this is the perfect uh thing for him like here's the thing if he was not banned remember he was recently banned from talking about Mackenzie online but if that was not in place you better believe that every single day Ryan Christopher Edwards would have been on Instagram counting down the days this is one day since my boop ex-wife has uh, kept my kids from me the next day. Day two without my kids, pictures of him crying and whatnot. I hate her, like all sorts of stuff, right? Like, so it is great that he has been banned from being able to talk about her. I would love to see him banned from being able to talk about those kids too, because he might try to use some kind of low loophole, you know? Can't talk about her? Okay, fine. Let me talk about those kids and try to portray myself as father of the year. Let me talk about father's rights. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, that's a little bit of an update coming out from the Sun News. What do you guys think about everything going down? Do you think that it is a good move to temporarily ban Ryan from being able to see those kids until they are able to figure out what's going on here? The stalking charges were dropped, but again, he did plead guilty to harassment. And I'm also wondering, do you think that he will make good on child support, spousal support, and the money needed to cover the repairs for the home that he allegedly damaged? How much money does he make? I know that people in the trades tend to make pretty good money. So why not, right? Mackenzie, go for it all. Don't get mad. Get even. Let me know what you think, okay, in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.